students, today we're going to be talking about fractions in our math class. Here we have our word fractions. A fraction, the definition is a part of a whole. Here in looking at a pizza, we have a part or a piece of a whole. Okay, so our fraction is a part of a whole. Here's our part or our piece of our pizza of the whole, part of a whole. And looking at this same pizza here, you see that this piece of pizza, which is our part, represents number one. We have one piece. How many pieces are in our pizza? We have one, two, three, four. They're all equally the same size. So our part is one, our whole is four. So what our fraction is, it is one four. We say one fourth, or sometimes you see your fractions written like this with your line here going sideways. Both of them are saying, you can see them both ways. So again, when we look at our piece of pizza and looking at what uh, this fraction represents, we have one fourth, one fourth. The top of the fraction, or the one, and looking at our piece of pizza, that part is called a numerator. The, bottom, the whole pizza that we were looking at in our previous, the whole, that word, or the bottom part, is called denominator. So the top part is numerator, the bottom part is called denominator. Okay, so let's use another example here. So we've got three cars here that we're playing with, okay? Let's say that um, you're going to give one car to your friend to play with. What fraction would be that one car that you're giving to your friend to play with if you have three to start with? Well, let's give one to your friend. You have two left. Your fraction that you t gave to your friend would be one. One third. One third would be your fraction that you gave to your friend. Now let's use another example here. Let's say that you had three cars, but you lost two of them. What fraction of your cars are missing? So you had three to start with. How many are missing? You're missing two thirds of your cars. Okay? So another example here in everyday life. Okay, so let's say you've got 10 Lego people, 10 Lego people that you hear are playing with, and mom says that you have to give half to your sister to play with, so you have to figure out how many pieces, of, you've got 10 Lego pieces here, how many is half that you have to give to your sister? What I want you to do is I want you to pause this in here in a second, and I want you to figure out how many, I want you to write your fraction, how many pieces you have to give to your sister and write it in a fraction form. So let's count first. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So your whole is 10 pieces, but you have to give half of those to your, to your sister. So what would be your numerator, the top number? What is your fraction? Pause this and write your fraction down. Okay, so let's see if you write your fraction right. If you take your 10 Lego pieces and you split them in half, half for your sister, half for you to play with, what's your fraction? If you look, let's count. You had 10 pieces, so one, two, three, four. You guys get the idea? You split them in half, then you should have five for your sister, five for you. So your fraction should look like five out of ten pieces. This is what your fraction should look like. Half of the Legos is equal to five tenths. Five parts of ten whole. Great job. Okay, here's another problem that we've got. I want to make hot chocolate. Okay? Hot chocolate calls for three-quarter cup of water and a packet of hot chocolate. Okay, so here's a fraction. I'm learning fractions. My problem is this measuring cup says one-fourth, but my recipe says I need three-fourths. 
Can you guys think of what I might do with this one-fourth to get three-fourths cups of water for my hot chocolate? I want you to think about it, pause the video, and write your answer down and see if you come up with the right answer. Okay, let's see if you guessed right. Okay, so remember what we talked about. Our hot chocolate, we need one packet of hot chocolate. Okay. Now, I need three quarter cup of water. Three fourths, three quarters cup of water. I need three fourths cups of water. What can I do when I've only got one quarter and not something that says three quarters on it? Well, let's see. If I take one quarter of water, and then I can add another quarter. Okay, so now I've added two. And now I need one more. I've got three. I've added a quarter cup three times. That equals three quarters cup of water. So now I can make my hot chocolate. Good job. Okay, so let's use another example here. Let's look at if this was a pie here. This whole circle here represents a pie, and it's been cut into different pieces. These little black shaded in areas are pieces that have been eaten already. Somebody's already taken them. Okay, so I want you to stop for a minute and think. What fraction, how would I write what fraction is already gone? And then another way you can do this is what fraction of the pie is left? So the pieces that are gone represent these three black shaded area. And then how many pieces are left? And write that in a fraction form. So I want you guys to pause this, write down what you think, write your fraction, practice it, and then check back and let's see if you got your answers right. Okay, let's see if you got it right. We wanted to see first what fraction of the pieces of pie were already gone. Let's count. We have to first know what our denominator is. How many pieces of our pie are here? We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So our denominator is going to be eight. Now, what fraction is gone? One, two, three. So our fraction that's gone is going to be three eighths. Three eighths of the pie is already gone. And then let's look at the other way. What fraction of the pie is left? How many pieces are still there? You've got one, two, three, four, five. So your fraction is going to be written as 5 for your numerator as the number that's left, and 8 represents the whole, which means how many pieces you originally started with. Okay, students, we've learned about fractions today. So what I want you to do is I want you to take this time away from the computer, and I want you to think about some different ways that you know or you recognize or think of how fractions are being used in your life right now. So when you come to school tomorrow, we can talk about some of these examples you found at home. So what we found today is we use them with our toys or with the cars and the Legos. We use it in cooking every day. When we divide up pieces of pizza, we divide up a pie. How many pieces to use? So again, go in, try to find some different examples of how you know of to use or how to use fractions, and we'll talk about it tomorrow. Have a great night.